Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we're on April 4th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and as well earthquakes, volcanoes, anything affecting humanity. Starting out here looking at the sun the last 48 hours. As we saw, see that bright northern region just form pretty much at a day's time. Looking here incoming images and outgoing you can see that bright region on the left hand side form quickly we're going to look more into that here with the multi-spectrum and you can see that sunspot quickly form and you don't really get to witness them in an earth facing position like this so it's truly unique to see pretty sizable sunspot form out of nowhere and it wasn't just out of nowhere there was quite an extension existential coronal hole south of it and pretty much as soon as that thing formed the coronal hole disappeared so no we do have an earth facing coronal hole right now expecting the wind stream and it kind of looks like it's on its way right now we're at a real low of 300, 200, actually 98 kilometers per second, but literally hasn't gone above 320. And you can see the temperature here has gone up just in the past few hours, and that is ahead of the coronal hole wind stream. Looking here at the annual spiral, as you can see, coronal wind stream is pretty much all that we are expecting. As well, looking at Lasco 2, pretty quiet, no major events to be seen there. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 11 and a quality of 11. Looking here at earthquakes the last 24 hours around the planet, we're still looking at a low number of quakes. It seems the micro quakes have stopped and we're looking at bigger earthquakes now across the planet. We're going to start out here with most recent in the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. We're starting to see the swarm come back to the area. 2.5, 2.7. As well, a 4.5 reported here in Mexico yesterday. And then today, a 5.4 large in La, La Rivera, Mexico. 12 kilometer depth. As well, White City, New Mexico, 3.4 there. In Beaumont, California, 13 kilometer depth. Ferndale, California, 11 kilometer depth. As well, Stanley, Idaho, seeing a couple shakers. But nothing major to report except for that La Rivera, Mexico, 5.4 this morning. As well, Pahala, Hawaii, 4.3 reported yesterday. Still seeing the microwave, microquakes come back to the region as well. Alaska seeing the increased seismicity, which was forecasted quiet through Japan, but yet we just did have another quake. Uh, 5.9 reported here, Banda Sea yesterday. That was the largest quake yesterday. There was a 6.6 .6 also reported east of the South Sandwich Islands, but this is our deepest earthquake today. 4.6, 552 kilometer depth, Fiji. Rare earthquake here, mid-Indian Ridge, 5.6, 10 kilometer depth, as well another rare earthquake here, 5.4. So 5.4 seems to be the number today. And as well, 5.0 here to report, mid-Atlantic Ridge, 
South America, 4.4, 108-kilometer depth, 4.4 there, Chile, as well, 4.7, West Chile Rise. And I really needed a couple days off there, and I feel so refreshed now. Got together with family and friends, and I hope you all did too. Happy Easter to everybody. Last few earthquakes to report here in Pakistan, 4.2, and as well Indonesia, or not, not Indonesia, Afghanistan, 4.4 there to report in Greece as well. So there is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Having a look at the last seven days, I mean, considering we're only looking at about 179 earthquakes today, but they've been bigger earthquakes. All of the smaller quakes have stopped, and we're seeing a lot of bigger ones across the planet. Especially 6.6 .6 there reported yesterday east of the Scotia Island, or South Sandwich Islands. Deep earthquakes still continuing through Fiji and West Indonesia through Sumatra. Watch for increased seismicity through Alaska this week. Quiet through Eurasia and as well Iceland. But this has been the most recent action. A lot is going on in the Southern Hemisphere right now. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center where we update the most recent volcanoes. Sinabung, Indonesia. Era in Japan. Reventador, Ecuador. Ibu, Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico, Languila, Papua New Guinea, Sangay in Ecuador, Dekono, Indonesia. And the list goes on and on here. Many floods in between. Uh, Fuego, Guatemala, Pekaya, Guatemala, Kermiski, Russia, Shivalich, Russia, Kluchevskoy, Semiznapoichnoy, Nevadas de Ruiz. So that's about 11 to 12 volcanoes being updated today as active and erupting. And if you haven't seen the volcanic activity report, please check it out because we are looking at an active 41 volcanoes around the planet. Also, we do have a couple cyclones to talk about now as I've been talking about and forecasting for the last few videos. Tropical Cyclone 26 and 27 is alive. Uh, unfortunately, Tropical Cyclone 26 has already taken some lives and displaced a lot of people throughout East Java, Indonesia. Many flooding conditions, many being displaced through Indonesia. So thoughts and prayers being thrown out to everybody around the world being affected by natural disasters. Our planet is going through some great changes and we need to stay aware and prepared. And I appreciate you watching and choosing Morning Dew. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth. Meteor Mike starting out here in Calgary, Alberta, home base. Calgary, Alberta. As yet, we've been talking about the temperature swing for the last three weeks and cold, really chilly nights, warm days and kind of a wild ride as these systems come in from Alaska and BC coastline they're not really coming in on the regular paths that they should be so watch as the system runs through Alberta and then southward into the United States and that's when you're going to see some extreme weather starting out here watch for a lot of snow through the mountainous regions BC and watch for this low to develop right over central Alberta. Major weather of this system will be coming out through Grand Prairie. And then the low is going to quickly move to the Saskatchewan border and eastward. Not before letting a bunch of snow out and some really cold temperatures. We could see about 10 centimeters of snow here in Calgary and parts of the foothills. But just as I said, it's very interesting, the direction of these systems, just riding the coastline from Alaska, well, pretty much from Russia to BC. Overlooking the Atlantic, 
still very large low pressure system five day forecast shows it going in back into the Atlantic provinces and then quickly back out as you can see in the long range forecast it's still going to be a big and dominant low pressure system boy and, and I mean speaking of monstrous low pressure systems we have another one here which is affecting most of Eastern Europe and parts of Northern Europe the United Kingdom watching the five-day forecast as this big low pressure system breaks up into three and then yeah I mean we're gonna have snow as far down as Croatia Serbia maybe even Syria crazy crazy weather events especially the size of the low pressure systems across the planet and our jet stream just the way these low pressure systems are traveling um, they didn't use to travel like this that's all I can say it's an overlook Africa no major weather systems affecting you daily evaporation rains and of course hot watch for a bit of moisture to head into Madagascar and as well coastal regions Mozambique Southeast Asia no major weather systems except for Mongolia mountains watch for heavy snow in the regions and as well a bit of rain through China but then yeah most of the energy and moisture has headed into tropical cyclone 26 and 27 and as you can see here is the five-day forecast they're just gonna spin around each other but then we have this other low pressure system which comes from the West into the mix so stay aware prepared by friends and family from around the world just interesting weather events and I think we're gonna see some great changes as we shift into summer if we even have a spring overlooking Australia watch for that system to affect coastal regions of Brisbane this week and as well through southwest regions watch for a little bit of rain later in the week but other than that dry and hot straight across the continent big low pressure system forming in the Pacific underneath that dominant high so not much weather to talk about for Hawaii still have that low pressure system spinning off the coast of California and it looks like it's heading back out into the Pacific so we have very very strange weather patterns as these low pressure systems now are just running from pretty much Japan to BC all along the coastlines big dominant high pressure ridges oi <laughs> Overlooking South America, you do have a low pressure system heading towards Argentina, southern Argentina this week. And watch for extreme weather to roll out in between the low and the high pressure ridge off the coastline there. Daily evaporation rains is pretty much all to talk about for northern parts. Going to leave you here looking at our very strange weather pattern and dominant low pressure system in the Atlantic huge systems high pressure low pressure the velocity the depth the troughs the temperatures much love to you all and thank you for watching stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due don't forget to hit that like button thanks for watching bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.